Hello YouTube and fellow resellers. This is Kevin, the Stoic reseller here with another what sold in 24 hours as a part-time reseller on eBay. And we got to start talking about some context. Alrighty guys, let me bust out my high tech new invention called the piece of paper uh, with some uh, chicken scratch on it because this is the best you're getting out of me, okay guys? So we had a total sales of $384.04. That is eight items. One of those, however, is a conjoined, so it's really seven packages going out. My average selling costs for this week is 32.2%. I will readjust next week. So that comes out to $123.66. My average cost of goods is $9.70. So eight times that equals $77.60. My profit before I take my taxes out is $182.78. Once you take the 15% out of my total sales, don't at me with that shit. It's, so that comes out to $57.61 for a total profit of $125.17. Guys, as someone who, uh, I just did the math, on average, it's roughly about two and a half to three hours a day that I spend on eBay. $125.17 in three and a half hours of work. Can't can't beat it, guys. Just cannot beat it. Um, so that actually also gives me an average selling of 48 per item, $48 and a penny. So, guys, our first item is a Patagonia piece. Uh Patagucci is pretty Patagucci when it's Patagucci. My motto is Patagucci sometimes. However, you, when you know, you just know. Um, this is the Houdini pant. Pretty rare item from my understanding. Uh, not very many available. A lot more sold than available. This sold for $69.97 and this sold in under a week. All right, guys. The next item is um, something that I'm actively striving to become known for. And that is the Nike Pickup Artist. I don't know. Maybe that's my gangster name. Maybe it could be my rap name. I have no idea. Um, but these are some Nike Tech Pants. Guys. Nike doesn't sell. It's a saturated market. Almost every single day I'm selling something Nike. Uh, for over 30 bucks. These sold for 60 bucks. These sold in about two and a half weeks. The next item is the multi-quantity lot. Um, I like to give people deals. I mean, I don't like to give them excessive deals. But when you when they come at me with reasonable offers, I take them. This guy messaged me and was like, Hey, would you take 75 plus sh a combined shipping for two shirts that I had? I was like, sure, man. That's $15 off my asking price. Why would I not do that? And these are high dollar sales. They're two Peter Millar polos. As you can see, this one has like a martini um, pattern. And then this pattern is called the gator pattern. The gator pattern actually sells for more money than the martini pattern does. Um, the gator one sold for $41.03. And then the other one was $33.97. And uh, these sold within, I want to say, a week. Maybe a week and a half. Um... But two awesome sales, 75 bucks. Um, you know, when you're doing the average buy cost that I'm doing, that's a great come up. So guys, before we move on, let's talk about today's topic of the day. So topic of the day is uh, context. And, um, you know, you, 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 for those who listen to me, uh, I reference a lot of uh, unnamed YouTubers because... I'm not about here to call people out. Maybe they should be. Maybe I should have bigger cojones and be like, yo, this mother effer should be uh, called out because he's a POS. I don't know. I watch a lot of YouTube. I try to grow my knowledge daily. Um, with my job, there's a lot of sitting around doing monotonous work that I could do in my sleep. So I like to learn while I do my monotonous sleeping job. Today, there's a lot of context, uh, out of context facts and um, where I come from and how my mind works and how I 
contemplate and logically think of things. You cannot have facts without context. You have to have both in order for it to be realistic, in my opinion. And the conversation today was rather interesting. So on two separate channels, I noticed that the factual information is that views are down, eBay sales are down, and uh, everything is down. Down, down, down. I mean, it's not like a song. Down, down, I don't know. I'm, I, maybe I'm just getting them mixed up. But the context of the matter is, is you have to look at what these people are selling. Uh, I've had a theory for the last six months, ever since my sales dipped and I decided to make a pivot, that eBay is actively suppressing certain categories. And this may be true, may not be true. Um, I, I feel like the data so far uh, somewhat jives in my favor, but that's neither here nor there. I cannot prove or discredit my theory, and other people can't prove or discredit my theory other than call me an idiot or say it's completely ridiculous that eBay would be doing that because they, in order to have a healthy platform, they need to do X, Y, Z. As if they run some multi-billion dollar company and I'm supposed to lead to believe that they're this highly intelligent AI human being. That's beside the point, right? The fact of the matter is, is these guys are saying, I've had no sales. eBay's fucking me over. eBay owes us. eBay owes us. eBay owes us. What do they owe us? We rely on their platform. Yes, without us, there is no eBay. But without eBay, there's no us. I mean, sure, you can go to Poshmark. You can go to other websites. But eBay, being basically the founding father of reselling online, we have to use them. They, by far, have the most traffic out of any website. So it'd be ludicrous for me to go, frick eBay, frick them right in the booty with no lube. Because you know what? They're fucking suppressing me. I ain't get no sales. I have, I've been on eBay since the age of the dinosaurs. And I have all this experience and I've never seen it like this. And F them. Huh. But you go to another website and you have a thousand listings and you get one sale. Is there any hypocrisy here? Is there any stupidity going on? Is there moronic tend tendencies uh, amongst the community? I, and I think so. Uh, but the factual information is that, yes, sales are down, eBay profits are down, eBay views are down, traction's down, all that's down. Where the context needs to be implied is we have to look at, well, who's doing well? How come it's not affecting every seller, right? So if So if... This person's not getting any sales or getting 50% of the sales that they used to get maybe two years ago. What changed? Could it be eBay has all these technical issues and server issues and, and other issues that um, are made up, make believe, or whatever you can think of? I mean, is the CEO effing your mom and then that's why everything's going to shit? Who knows? And don't don't at me because you know that's fucking true. But what what really amazes me is they refuse to acknowledge the fact that they're in categories that over time are slowly becoming outdated. And they've been outdated. And yes, there's still a market for it. You can't deny that. Uh, I'm talking the media category. There is so much media out there. And yes, you can have 30, 40, 50, 100 million item stores. The fact of the matter is, is most of these stores are not profitable. Uh, what's the, there's a, there's a store that's a major one where you can sell all your CDs and DVDs to, and they give you like pennies on the dollar for them. And then they all sell on like eBay, but they're not profitable. If you look at the company's profits, they haven't been profitable in 10 years that they've been doing it. And it's only investors propping it up for now in the hopes that at some point it becomes profitable. But the issue is, is the media category as well as clothing under, I want to say 15 bucks. These are categories that eBay probably doesn't want on their website anymore. And it would make a lot of sense that a part-time person, three and a half hours, can compete sales-wise with people who are full-time. I mean, I just watched an eBay who had 33 sales for over 600 bucks. I'm sorry, I had eight for 384 and with half, like not even half the effort. It's like a quarter of the effort that this person is putting in daily. So 
who's doing it right here? Who's, you know, context matters, guys. So don't just listen to someone spew their BS, their sob story, their frustrations without asking them, what is the context? What, what about the other people? Ask them what their opinion is about other people who are actually having success on eBay. And I guarantee you their answer is not going to be sufficient because they don't want to hear it. They want the sob story. They want the clickbait. They want to just continue to drive home that the world's ending. So let's let's finish this up, guys. The next item is a brand you guys have probably not heard of. I highlighted this in a short. This is, I believe it's pronounced Young Maven. Um, it's made here in Hawaii. It's like a, or Hawaii, it's made in the U.S. And it's got like a pattern on it. It's like a Hawaiian polo, heavy cotton. Really nice. Um, this sold uh, within about a, a month, I want to say, for 39 bucks plus shipping. Next item is William Murray. If you don't know this brand, know it. The logo is that. Uh, this is just a plain blue uh, polo and uh, sold within about three weeks. And it sold pretty for a good amount. 35 bucks for a plain one. They're more well known for their patterns, guys. If you find their patterns, you can get upwards of 60, 70 bucks for some of them. Next item is Eddie Bauer. Um, you can't see it on here, but this is the Eddie Bauer First Ascent Guide Pro Cargo Pants. These are really the only line of Eddie Bauer I try to buy. They're, some of their jackets will do well that are not First Ascent, but First Ascent is something you guys should pick up almost non-negotiably. If it's priced right, pick it up. This sold same day, actually within hours of me listing it. Um, sold for a good amount. Sold for, I lost it, where'd it go? Eddie's 26 bucks, plus shipping guys in a matter of hours. And the last thing, item is something you should not be picking up, but it does have a cool pattern. It's this Duluth shirt with the, the beaver, the angry beaver with a Santa hat on it. Uh, this sold for $9.97 plus shipping, and I've had it for probably around six months. Um, so, at the end of the day, guys, don't accept negativity without context. That's what I'm trying to get at you guys with. I just told you and went down exactly my last 24 hours. 384 is competing with a lot of resellers now who are full-time. This is half, more than half of some people who are posting online right now. And if I can do it, you can do it, but do not take their negativity. Do not allow them to ruin your day, to ruin your dreams and your aspirations. Challenge their point of view, make them defend their point of view, because at the end of the day, they're not going to, or they're not gonna be able to sufficiently support their point of view without making themselves look stupid. So guys, if you like what I have to talk about, if you like the positivity I try to drive, or at least some of the comedy I try to bring to the reselling community, let me know. Comment below, share this video with your friends, like and subscribe, and until tomorrow on another What Sold in 24 Hours, rule the day.